So just a quick video about something that was brought up quite a few times in the comments on the last video about the Garmin battery and that it's my train bag or Rinko bag or if you want to go full Japanese Rinko Bukuro. Had a few questions about what kind of bag that was and I don't think there's really a better way to show you the bag than to actually use it out on a ride and why not on this gorgeous day October uh, fighting 25 to 30 degree weather, summer is uh, still uh, present. And the bag in question is something I have in my back pocket. This is the bag uh, packed up and I bring this on all the long rides I do when I know I probably won't be able to ride a whole loop. Instead I need to take the train home. That's usually the, the way I do it. And also brings me to a good point. If you want to get the most out of riding in Japan, if you're just coming here for a holiday or a working weekend or something, you should definitely get a, a Rinko bag or a train bag, whatever you want to call it, to get the most out of the riding you can do here. Japan is full of these kind of roads. Super nice pavement. See, no traffic to speak of really. Unfortunately, if you stay in Tokyo, it will be a big problem getting out to these roads. Oh, not a big problem, but it will be a long ride at least. And that ride through traffic lights and all kinds of less interesting roads, I think is better spent on the bike, these kinds of areas. So taking the train out, or if you want to ride out and take a train home, uh, you definitely need one of these train bags. Now this one is the cream de la creme top of the crops doesn't get better than this this is a fermion bag it's actually a friend of mine who make this he used to live here in japan and now lives in france uh, i will drop all the contact information website and stuff like that down in the description so check that this bag is under 200 grams and fits a gravel bike with big ass tires i've been using his bag since i came here basically and the first version of this bag was like a half bike bag, which are not actually allowed on train. So that's why he doesn't make those anymore. And it was super small for a road bike. Then he made a full bike bag for a road tires. And that's a bit smaller than this actually, and a bit lighter. But with this, I can take, yeah, even my 650B 48 millimeter tires, no problem. And as you see, pretty damn compact, fits in the back pocket. I really don't like to stuff so much in my pocket, so I still put it on the bike actually. In this case, I have my, all my spares and I can still fit the train bag in there as well. Yeah, I know I have that as well, but I need, I need, I need storage for all this camera crap. So why do you need this bag in the first place? Well, you can't take your bike on the train if it's not covered up uh, fully, basically. Even the saddle should according to the rule, be covered up. And you actually get a seat cover with this one, which I never use. And it's not to protect your bike, it's to protect all the other passengers from a grimy bike, so. Which is a pretty good reason when you think about all those rush hour trains where they pack people in like. So there's definitely a bit of planning when to avoid taking the train with a bike. So you don't want to roll up to a train station at rush hour with a bike in a bag and trying to get into those kinds of trains. But out here in the more rural areas, you really have reasonable distance to, to trains basically everywhere. So it's so, such a good option to have, I think. And here, Usually the trains are pretty empty as it's pretty far out in the country. Of course, it depends on time, but usually it's never too packed. Another pro tip is always to go in the back of the train. 
well, you can go in the front as well, but usually you will have people wanting to look out at the front of the train. And if you have your bike propped up against the wall there, they will start to try to move your bike. Or if it's small kids, they will start to climb on your bike. And that's, yeah, we don't want that. So back of the train is the best place for normal trains. If you're taking a Shinkansen, I actually don't know how the rules are there now. Uh, you used to be able to just have a Rinko bag on the Shinkansen. I don't know now actually. I haven't ridden the Shinkansen for like 10 years. So if anyone knows, feel free to drop a comment. All right, so I will finish my ride here and uh, hopefully end at the station. And I will just show you putting this thing on, getting on a train. You can buy cheaper bags on basically every bike store here in Japan that are questionable at least. At, for starters, they will take up at least a full ball cage or something like that. And some of them you need to put your bike upside down. And if you have disc brakes, you know that putting your bike upside down is always the best idea. So if you end up getting a Fermin bag, if you put it on correctly, everything will keep really nice and tight in place. And uh, since this bag is this compact and this light, it's very specifically made to go on the bike in a specific way. The shoulder strap is built into the bag as well. You just clip it on around your saddle when the bag is on and you can move around with the bag without any problem. So definitely practice and you can also check Fermi's own instruction video of him putting the bag on, but he's a pro at this. Even I can't put the bag on that fast. With a bit of practice, no problem. And since you need to remove your front wheel, having a spacer for your front caliper it's a pretty good idea as well, I think. If you remember my morning routine video, I had that little disc caliper adjuster tool and that actually works as a spacer as well. Perfect for those train trips. So this Fermin bag is definitely the key to riding here in Japan if you really want to explore. Unless you want to go bikepacking, of course, then you really don't need this. But for those day trips, it's like a godsend. <music> Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Ride safe and all that mess and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.